first, click the Turn Editing On button and you scroll down until you can see Add Activity or Resources and click it. Here, you can see there are activities and resources option to use. Now, you need to click on the Assignment button and you will be provided with description and explanation on the options you choose. Then, you will be directed to the assignment screen setup. You will need to provide the assignment name. It is compulsory. You are advised to insert the description of your assignment to let the students know what it is about. And click the display box. Next, as you scroll down, there will be availability section which consists of allow submission from due date, cut off date, and great reminder. The allow submission, if enabled, the students will not be able to submit before this date. If disabled, the students will be able to start submitting right away. This is when the assignment is due. If late submissions are allowed, any assignment submitted after this date is marked as late. If enabled, Students will not be able to submit after the due date. If disabled, students will be able to submit assignments after the due date. If disabled, the assignment description above will only become visible to students at the allow submissions from date. Then, you will see the submission type section. Here, there are two types which are submission file. You can upload several files if you tick file submission. You get to set the maximum number of uploaded files, maximum submission size, and accepted file types. You also can select online text submission and enable the word limit. Now, you will see the Feedback tab section. In these Feedback types, the instructor can leave feedback comment on the submission. For the annotated PDF, the instructor can directly draw stamp and comment on top of students' work. This is for when the teachers want to upload files with comment. In Submission setting, you can decide if you want to accept an agreement their work is their own or not, you can also set if they can submit their assignment in group. As for the grid setting, you can choose either skill or point types. If you choose skills, there are a few options for grading skill and you can adjust how the grid method, category and others. Then, you can set your common module settings, restrict access, activity completion, tags, and competency to make your assignment more effective.